60 million years ago, apes with full of hair on their bodies that lived on trees somewhere in the forests of Africa. How did they become human beings in the 21st century? If Darwin's statement that man was born from apes is true, then why are apes and chimpanzees still the same? Is everything that we read all these days is false? There might be a difference in the pages of history. Somewhere the middle pages might have torn. Someone did something. Why it is not known to us? An unknown fact has not reached us. What is that mystery? Come on, we know a dark secret. Let's make efforts to extract from the evidence. Aliens are not strangers today. Creatures that live on one planet are called aliens on another planet. So one day, the intelligent beings who live on another planet came looking for our planet. They used our planet to solve the problem of their planet. They used our lives. They say that the aliens who enslaved us and took what they wanted are called as Anunnakis. Civilization was formed on the earth millions of years ago just because of Anunnakis came. Advanced technologies were formed but when they finished their work the earth changed drastically. Isn't it strange, the inscriptions falling out of the excavations, the figures on the walls in the dark caves, strange objects, structures, mummies, bones are silently exposing the history of the day. The reason for the delay in understanding what they are saying, things are clear now. The word Anunnaki means those who came from the sky. In the pictures found in the caves are the floral plains that they flew in. The men that came out of it, the clothes they wore, the jewels, the long beard, the watches on the hands and different face image, all are different. Documents found during excavations, script and paintings and inscriptions tell their story. Based on that evidence, the intelligent beings of the Anunnaki kingdom from another planet visited the earth. They took the gold from the earth. They changed the genetic design of the people on the earth and turned them into forced slave creatures. They achieved what they wanted. The history beyond that fact is called Anunnaki secret history. Excavations in the 19th century uncovered the ruins of the ancient Niveva empire. There were found 3000 clay tablets made of clay. They can be understood as inscriptions containing information of Anunnaki. Anunnaki have a rare script that we don't know. There is a language to speak. There is a culture beyond them. Their planet name is Niburu. In the wake of the celestial changes, their planet was in immense danger. According to the revelations, they have four wings on the body, a long eagle nose and a strong human body. According to their findings, the Sumerians were the first to see the first civilization on Earth based on the information that decoded clay tablet. Cities similar to the most modern cities were built at that time. They are similar to today's plans, based on which our ancients gathered knowledge from other planets through Anunnaki. The same details say that Anunnaki reached the earth for gold. The secret of gold is in them. Gold transmits infrared light. It is invisible to the outside. It protects the human body from harmful rays. Gold can change into thin layer. Gold acts as a heat shield no matter how hot it is. NASA uses gold as a heat shield for important parts of its satellites. An author, Zikaria Sitchin, translated the Sumerian inscriptions and published the book The Earth Chronicles. They changed the genetic standard of living things on Earth. They prepared labor force of strong humans to dig out the gold. Meteorites and planetary fragments suddenly erupted from space, destroying the entire planet. The planet Nibiru has become a cluster of flames. Gold is needed to solve Anunnaki's problem. Only gold metal can save the planet from danger. That is why a huge amount of gold is needed. It is a project that will take a long time. That is why the clay tablets say that the Anunnaki's with seven kings came from their planet with all the arrangements. The human race did not begin when the Anunnaki landed with their vehicles. 
The ape race continues, meaning it happened over a million years ago. The pollution-free atmosphere that filled the earth at that time with three-fourth water with many living things. Anunnaki's reached the earth at a time when there was plenty of gold, diamonds and precious minerals to be seen everywhere. Leaning on the ground with a thunderous sound emanating lights from the sky, they scanned the earth for gold and finally they found desired level of gold in the forests of South Africa. Arrangements were made according to their plan. Only seven kings were to dig for gold. Thousands of slaves were needed to carry out the excavations. They need suitable cattle to work with. There must be suitable conditions for mining. So a plan was drawn up to build an entire system. They started a genetic modification program so that they could have a strong body structure to work for themselves. Four and a half million years ago, the first human being was born in the form of Adam. According to Sitchin's book, they began to incorporate DNA into humans, creating the human being with the color, shape and strength they wanted. It is recorded in Sumerian history that the first human Adam became an Anunnaki slave in the Hebrew region. They have recorded this subject in many scriptures. The essence of it all is that the astronauts who visited planet Earth imparted their knowledge and technologies to the first man. It took them decades to create genetically modified elephants, camels and even strong bulls that could work with the human race. They also started building cities for everyone to live in. After the system has been designed to the level they want, the actual program is started. They started digging for gold. They converted the land as they wanted. They used the immense power of the earth for their technologies. Finally, an empire was created for this. The name of the empire was Sumerian Empire. Anthropologists who dug up the figures in the caves based on the stone inscriptions unearthed during the excavations calculated the standards of the time. After that, what happened has gone unnoticed for thousands of years. An incident should be mentioned before this. There is a famous museum in the city of Baghdad, the capital of Iraq. It is said to contain remnants and artifacts of thousands of years of history, but entry in it is prohibited. Rare fossils, inscriptions and thousands of cultural fossils from excavations in the desert have been preserved there. No one knows what they are, what they contain. The museum was attacked in 2003 during the Iraq civil war. At that time, museum was attacked. Artifacts which are hidden in museum for many years were stolen. Iraq officials confirmed that this was done on purpose. A few days after this, various national investigations were carried out on the stolen goods. The details began to come out one by one. The language written in stone inscriptions is written in a script that is not found anywhere in the world. As they try to decode, they become successful and the world is in awe. The thing that made the world go round like this is the secret of Anunnaki. Strange, incredible, unknown to the outside world for years, but this thing have now become a hot topic. Before that, it was unknown at this time. Articles of pharaohs of Egyptian gods are in circulation. The latest evidence has taken as a surprise with the fact that they both are same. There are many incredible things about the pharaohs in Egypt but also in some parts of Israel, Egypt, Iraq and India. It increased interest because the historical aspects of Sumerian culture are similar to the Anunnaki culture. If you look at it, only Anunnaki people came to this place or did other intellectuals also visited the earth. How they looked like when they arrived? Do they look like us? Before learning about aliens, we need to know two things about the vast universe. If we look at the sky, when there is no much light in a village, millions of stars will appear. We know very little much about the space. Those tiny stars are bigger than our earth. No scientific evidence has yet been found to confirm the existence of aliens in the universe. Fictional stories about aliens are in the information. People are always posting things about aliens on social media, but they are illogical and unscientific. All multimedia glitches are clear. So far, the US space agency NASA has not confirmed the presence of the aliens. 
renowned physicist Stephen Hawking made sensational sentences on this. Is there any life in this vast universe? There may be more intelligent creatures who are more mature than us. He warns that it is dangerous to show much interest that is not about them. If intelligent beings of other planet come to our planet at a time when their planet is not working and in search of a planet, they may even dare to remove humans and also Hawking said that they are not the ones who want friendship with us. Present generation researchers said that this one point is said to be true to the matter of Anunnaki. Aliens often come to earth. If the words are true, there must be a planet for them. They recognized our presence. That is why they are intelligent beings, because they have better technology to reach light years away. Space distances are calculated by the light year. We know that light travels at a speed of 3 million kilometers per second. A light year is a beam of light that travels 9.5 million kilometers a year. It will take 100 years for a rocket to fly to the planet Alpha Century, which is said to be close to the solar system. It takes at least four and a half years to send any radio information. According to the findings of the Baghdad Museum, Sumerian culture matches the Anunnaki culture with the tools they use, the writings on the walls and the figures. UFOs floating in the sky, symbols resembling eagles' wings clearly represent a civilized society. The gods and kings flying from the sky and from heaven have sides like Bahubali with immense power. Anunnaki blood seems to be blue. There is no sex differences between female and male in Anunnaki. Beautiful women and strong men have multiple organs but they are all called as men. Enormous lifespan is owned by Anunnaki. They are able to live for hundreds of years. If the first body is in danger of collapsing due to any reason, they have the power to easily enter another body. Their planes run on the force of gravity which requires no fuel to run. History says that Anunnaki kings fly in air like UFOs through their wings. They used excellent metals and chemicals to make them pollution free. As we have said, the Anunnaki gave life to the Homo sapien race. They know only how to work without a break. Homo sapiens have a strong shape similar to that of apes and humans. The Homo sapiens species, which were produced in large numbers, they are unique in that tolerate long hunger and extreme exertion. Along with them, elephants, animals, agriculture and food were also made with their technologies. Large cities were built to suit today's modernity. The remains of these excavations have taken the world by surprise. The pyramid structures in Egypt are special. There are so many things in those structures that many of the things have not yet come out. It would be mind-blowing to know how they bring the stone for the Giza pyramid when there are no rocks in the desert. They used large stones hundreds of kilometers away, there is no hilly area. It is strange that how they carry tons of stones. Water canals were dug to bring stones for the construction of the pyramid. How the water stood in those sandy soils is still a mystery. Accurate pyramids were built by pulling the stones that with the help of humans and elephants. How such precision in the construction of pyramids came, it is unbelievable. When it comes to why the pyramids were built, the pyramids are said to work to power the UFO vehicles used by aliens. There is also an argument that tons of gold could be used to teleport their planets. Anunnaki is tolerant of any situation, civilization unknown to us, by using their powers ruled the earth for thousands of years. These celestial kings also prepared the people to rule and eventually moved the enormous amount of gold to their planet. Things like this are now coming out as strange. It is about the kingdom of Anunnaki from the planet Nibiru, about the kingdom they established on earth. These things may or may not be true. The things that have come out are interesting. It is not entirely untrue that they cannot be accepted because they are not scientific. Thousands of years have passed since the Anunnaki aliens completed their mission. 753 crores of population from the first man to the present day. Anunnaki DNA in us may fall weak. Anunnaki's planet Nibiru falls to the ground once every 3000 years. 
the deadly planet is expected to land on Earth. News is coming that UFOs are increasingly circulating on Earth. However, one thing is true. Did humans come from monkeys? And if we reconsider, we do not suspect that humans evolved from apes due to Anunnaki's rather than evolution. Importantly, Homo sapiens are said to be the ancestors of today's human race. If this is true, then some people think that the Anunnaki's who created human beings for what they need. So many events have taken place in the 4.5 billion year lifespan of the Earth, like catastrophes and floods occurred. Scientists have been saying for some years that Nibiru planet is coming closer to Earth. Are the Anunnaki going to reach the Earth again or already arrived? Researchers say that another history will be created again. These are the interesting facts about Anunnaki. Please like. Share and subscribe to our channel for latest updates.